Hi guys, my name is Idan and welcome to How Much YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about a new device called NewPack. It's a USB ASIC miner. It can mine Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, or any other SHA-256 algorithms with a USB stick. This is actually a new version of the 2-pack. Two 2-pack two is the older version of the USB miner. It used to be sold for about 30 bucks. And the difference is, is the chip. The chips inside, this one specifically, the new one, is from the S9, the Antminer S9. There's two chips in here. And in the old one, the 2-pack, it used to be from the S7. So this one has a lot more efficiency and a lot more mining power. Now before we even start talking about this USB miner, I have to mention that you will not get rich from this. This is a learning tool or a device where you can learn how to mine, what does it mean to mine, and you know how much does it make, what about power. You're going to learn all those things by buying one of those. This, it's not really designed for you to make a lot of money. You know, if you, even if you overclock it, it's, it will take you many, many years to pay this off. I still think it's a really cool device to start getting into cryptocurrencies, especially now that Bitcoin is going up, way up, like crazy right now. Uh, highest it's been in, in over a year. Now I'll show you how to set up one and multiple USB devices and how to set it up from scratch. So how to download it, uh, download the software and start running this thing. It's actually a lot simpler and easier than you think. I've been mining for a very long time and I had the S9 and I mine all kinds of different machines. And this one is always fun to use because it's so small and so easy. You could just plug it into almost every USB port on a computer, Raspberry Pi or a Linux machine and could just start mining right away, which I like a lot. In the title, I actually said that this new pack Gecko Science USB miner has the power of thousands of computers. And I actually mean it. What I have here is my R4 Alienware 17 inch with a GTX 1080 and a 7820 i7 CPU. And even though this computer is a beast, it can still cannot do even slightly as much power when it comes to mining as this. And this is because the ASIC chips that are inside they're designed to specifically mine cryptocurrency that is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash and so forth and they don't do anything else. It's not useful for anything else if, but the computer can do multiple things, right? They can run Photoshop, it can run games and run Chrome or whatever but this cannot do any of this. It can only mine. So this is why it's so powerful and it's thousands of times more powerful when it comes to mining cryptocurrencies. So the first step to set up the Gecko Science 2 pack is actually plug it into the computer. Make sure you have a strong port. Um, no, any regular USB port from a PC would work, but weak ones will not let you overclock by much or might affect your hash rate or your mining rate. So once we plug in the USB miner into our computer, the next step is to download two different softwares. The first one is actually I recommend to do the Zadig, the Zadig generic win uh, USB drivers. It's a little software, it looks like this. I usually click on options and list all devices and then I install the drivers. That way the computer will recognize the USB. You might need to unplug it at this point and plug it back again. Do that if you have to, to recognize the new pack. It's gonna show up right here as new pack, uh, new pack Bitcoin miner. Once we're done with that, we're gonna download the newest version of CG Miner that's designed for the Gecko Science. So that's the file right here inside bitcointalk.org conversation that I will list below. I will give the link below for that specific forum post. So you have all that info available for you. And seriously, you're ready to go. From there, you just have to unzip that file, that Gecko Science CG Miner file, click on test mining, and for no report, and that's about it. It will start mining right away. Now it's mining with one stick or multiple sticks. And I'll show you how to mine with multiple sticks. It's as easy as mining with one. So here we go. I had to restart the thing. And now it's mining. As you can see right away, it mines at about, it will go to about 20 uh, giga hashes on the stock 100 uh, megahertz clock speed. That's like the standard that's not overclocking. It'll do 20, 22 giga hashes per second for mining. Uh, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash or SHA-256 type of algorithms and I'll show you later how to calculate how much money it makes but now let's set up something more interesting let's do um, let's now change it so we actually make money 
uh, from this and not just not gonna go to around the person so you have to change the stratum address you can find that address and register to get one on any pool I like using ant pool because it's so easy to use it and it's free you just log in whatever register and then we're gonna just copy one of those addresses in there and we're gonna replace it with a standard one that they give you with it now once we place that we can choose our user as well this is my user for uh, my specific account so then I get the cryptocurrency and nobody else so you change that as well and then you put dot and then the sub user can be anything um, I'll leave a link below a little more details on how to mine and uh, more details on how it works so you understand it this is a, a, a more basic a tutorial on how to start mining right away. The next step is to actually add a frequency. You can actually edit the frequency yourself, which is kind of cool. You just add this little line here. I'll also add it in the description. And 100 uh, megahertz is the standard one. It can go high, like two, 300. But remember, we don't have any cooling to this thing. It just has a little metal cooling, right? But it doesn't have any fan or anything. And it, it will overheat, even if, if it's a hot room in stock uh, clock speed it might overheat so cooling is always recommended to do if you just running one maybe it's okay to do standard clock speed but no cooling but if you're running multiple ones or you're overclocking them which hiring up the clock speed then you're gonna have to have some cooling some fan attached to it let me show you guys the setup that i'm gonna do with and without the cooling so here's the setup for six of them without cooling and they'll probably be okay with stock uh, speeds with stock clock speeds and what I did here is use actually the gecko science hub as well it has eight USBs and it supports high power USB 2.0 to give that power that you need for overclocking but this will also work for regular clock speeds and we have one plug here from our power supply it's a 1000 watts way overkill you probably only need about 100 watts something like that for this kind of setup overclocked um, but it's always nice to have a little bit extra power this is just for our experience almost any power supply would work that gives at least 100 watts and now what we need to do next is just to plug in that USB plug to our computer and now we can run the software exactly the same let me just turn it on right here and show you guys here it is I'm starting the manual and now it detects you can see all of them right here and again they're stock clock speeds so they're gonna do about 20 22 um, giga hashes each and for a total of about 100 to 130 uh, giga hashes as average and that's with clock speeds but now if we want to overclock it what are we going to do this thing is going to get way too hot for overclocking so let me show you what i'm going to do i'm actually you know go ahead i'm going to stop this miner for now and uh, for now turn off the power supply okay turn off the power supply and what I'm gonna do now is actually remove two of the USB sticks gently and instead use a USB fan that I adjusted the shape of it to actually fit in one of the extra slots here and I'm gonna plug it in and you can see it can spin freely and this will have an airflow to you know get rid of all that heat away and now I'm open up for some overclocking possibilities okay so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on and sometimes I have to reinsert the fan take it in and out here you go so now that we have the fan on we have nice airflow I can feel it let's see if you guys can hear it I hope you can hear there's plenty of air here and now we're gonna go ahead and mess with the settings and uh, increase the clock speed so we're gonna go and edit that test file that we have here and we're gonna go directly to the extra text that we added here which is the gecko new pack frequency and let's go ahead and put 300 there I tried to go up to 350 but I didn't really get good results it just got overheated and just did not give me any extra hash power so now that I change it to frequency 300 let's see what happens when we start mining boom so we start mining at 300 megahertz 
and it slowly will go up it actually might take a little while for the speed to go all the way up but you can already see an increase of the hash power you can see here it goes all the way up to 50 each from 20 22 to 50 giga hashes each miner we're actually only gonna have six miners so it's uh one two three four five six uh starting from zero six miners running at 50 giga hashes each and total right now is about 270 giga hashes but let's give it like uh, 15 minutes and see what kind of hash rate we're gonna get all right so we've been mining for a little while and it seems like the average is about 370 380 giga hashes per second for that six uh, gecko science overclock all of them overclock so that's about six to 70 giga hashes each now i'm already starting to see the results and i even made a little tiny bit a little bit of Bitcoin Cash, so I have a I have a Bitcoin Cash set up here. So I'm mining Bitcoin Cash, but you can definitely mine Bitcoin if you like. You can set up on the miner however you like, and it recognizes so far 75 giga hashes. You're gonna have to wait. It takes hours until this number is gonna be correctly shown. So you're gonna have to wait for that number to be accurate. It's gonna take a little while. Now let's go ahead and calculate how much money are we gonna make from this, and uh, how much Bitcoin, how much fraction of Bitcoin you're gonna make from mining this. And as you can see here, we got about 70 giga hashes uh, per second. And as you can see, it's really hard to tell how much wattage you're gonna consume. Maybe five, maybe three, maybe ten. It's really hard to calculate. It's so small. Uh, pretty much, very negligible number. We're gonna make a dollar per month each, which means about eleven dollars per year. So as you can see, that's gonna take you know five years for 4.99.99 uh, device like this to pay itself off. Five years is a long time for a device to stick into a computer. The computer has to run 24 hours as well. So, you know, you have to calculate that. Definitely not something that's profitable, gonna make you rich or anything, no. Now for my setup, I make about 380. So if you have six of them running like this uh, with a Gecko Science Hub and a fan, um, you make something like 17 cents per day or $62 per year. That's pretty cool. That means every year you can buy one extra uh, USB miner. But yeah, I mean, you kind of see uh, how much money you're gonna make from this and you know, you make something. So we've been running a little miner for a little while. Now this is an actual thermal uh, camera right here. It's not some app, it's a real thermal camera. So you can see some heat building up from the fan. This is the fan right here. And you can see that the back one doesn't get as much air, so it gets a little hotter than the rest. But the temperature is not that high, 100 or so. So definitely I can touch it with my hand, which is a good sign. And the front ones are even like even cooler than that. It's even cooler than me. So that's a good sign. That means that fan is working. Um, fan in other locations might work better. You have to experiment with that and see. And maybe even have a separate fan for something like this. But yeah, now you can see where the areas that heats up. Basically the whole board heats up. A little bit of the hub itself heats up and definitely the heat sink is the main source of heat in this setup. So here's our little creation, I'm holding it in my hand. It's pretty cool, it's kind of fun to make this kind of thing, um, my, making your own mining rig that is small with a USB. But you can even get one and then start kind of learning how it works for not that much money. You can actually buy one on BitcoinMerch.com for $49.99 free shipping and it is our store so if you buy one you are supporting how much YouTube channel so thank you so much if you do so and I hope I give you all the information you need you know show you that it doesn't make that much money but it will give you some learning things out of it and something you can sell later on and give to others and then basically learn how this mining works. The hub itself is also for sale, it's about $75, which can be used for a lot of different things. Like if you want to have multiple high power USB 2.0 devices, you need something like this. It's kind of hard to find sometimes. So um, I also want to thank Gecko Science. I, they were, I'm working with them directly. Gecko Science, the person behind it is really, really nice. It's a US based company. And it's really nice to work with real people from America, you know. So I appreciate you always supplying this for me, for my customers, and people seem to be really enjoying them. If you're getting one, you also can email me if you have any questions on how to use it, or if you have any problems, I can give you some technical support a little bit on uh, how to start your mining experience. And mining for me was a big deal back then. I had so many machines running at the same time. Now it's not very profitable unless you spend thousands on machines, and that's very risky. So maybe it's better to start small first to learn how this works and then go for the big stuff. 
after you understand the concept and how it works. Today's sponsor is Anop Battery Packs. They're from Amazon. It has 10,000 milliamp battery. You can charge it with micro USB and USB Type-C. It has two USB outputs, so I can use one for my iPhone, another one for my camera. This is a very useful USB device, and thank you guys for sponsoring my video. I will leave a link below to buy one on Amazon if you need a battery pack like this. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it, and comment below if you have any questions about mining and cryptocurrency. I was a huge fan of this back uh, two years ago, and that's why I started my YouTube channel, so it's fun to kind of go back to it and introduce this uh, kind of new product that came out for beginner miners. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.